Hi everyone. Hello you guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great and I hope you guys are being productive. Today you guys, we are going to be talking about dating in Germany. So dating as a foreigner in Germany. Before we get right into the video, I am just going to show you guys my nails, my nails, my nails, my nails, my nails. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm so excited. Like, take a look at my nails. Take a look at my nails. If you've been following me, you guys, you know, the last time I got nails on, like, I got my nails done. It's been, like, almost a year ago. Like, it's been a long, long time. And this right here, I didn't go to the salon to do it, you guys. I did it myself. They are stick on. And I got the nails from this company right here. D. Rosie Nails. Honestly, I'm going to put a picture other here or that here anywhere like somewhere in the video so that you guys can really see the nails properly They are so cute and they are so beautiful. I actually didn't want to like Do it myself. I wanted to go to the salon for them to do it and I was like come on now So I decided to try and like fix the nails myself and trust me as you can see They came out perfectly well and it took me like five minutes and they are very very strong and very firm you guys like normally I, I don't do stick on the last time i did stick on nails it's like maybe 10 or 12 years ago i actually go to the salon to get my nails done but when i tried this honestly i think i'm going to go back to stick on nails and i'm going to order more products from more nails from this company because their nails are so beautiful i checked their page on instagram and amazing I'm going to be leaving the link to their website and also to their Instagram so that you guys can check their nails out. You won't be disappointed. You would love them. If you're a person that really likes nails, you're going to love them. Okay, now let's talk about Germany. You guys, dating as a foreigner in this country, it's, it's like a jungle. It is like a jungle. I'm not even going to lie. I did, I think I did a video about, um, what was it about questions you must answer as a foreigner before going on a date in Germany? And that's actually what really led to me wanting to record this video for you guys. When I posted a video on TikTok, I, it's not on YouTube, it's on TikTok. So when I posted it on TikTok, I just said it out of my own experience. I decided to like talk about it. And to my greatest surprise, a lot of people connected with it and they were like yes they, yes yes a lot of yes if you want to check that video out the link to my tiktok account is down you can go check it out and people were like confirming so it wasn't like it was it's only me it's like it's a trend and let me just tell you guys the first question as a foreigner that you must answer in this country germany deutschland before you go on a date and even sometimes on the date itself is where are you from which I think it's okay. It's normal for someone like me who is an African. My skin color is definitely anywhere I go. It's obvious. And definitely people would want to know exactly where I am from. And I find that's okay. They ask you, where are you from? And yeah, you tell them where you're from and they go like, okay, what are you doing in Germany? And you guys, it's like, <laughs> okay, now you know where I'm from. Now you're asking me what I am doing in Germany. That question, when people ask me, what are you doing in Germany? I really don't find it like, I find it very like kind of disrespectful. It's a normal question, but like when you continue to hear like the same question repeatedly, when you continue to hear a particular set of questions constantly, it gets annoying and, and it gets irritating. At the beginning, like when I go on dates and people ask me like, oh, where are you from? What are you doing in Germany? I kind of like, okay, it was normal, but like it became like a thing. A normal thing like almost like you go out with 10 people the whole 10 is the whole 10 is going to ask you where are you from what are you doing in germany and then when you tell them oh i'm a student and this many nine out of ten they are always expecting you as a black person i'm not talking about i'm not talking for other races but as a black person i think many at times nine out of ten they are always expecting you to tell them that oh i came here to seek asylum uh, i am suffering I, I like they want to hear that terrible story we all know the drill but like many nine out of ten they always expect you to want to, to have that background, to have that history. They forget that people come to this country for job. I have seen medical doctors from Africa, nurses, accountants, uh, uh, different from different area. People come to this country also to work. Not every black person in Germany is an asylum seeker or is a refugee, but many at times they always want to hear that. I remember one time when someone asked me what I'm doing in Germany and I actually, I actually told him what I was doing in Germany, you guys, and he was shocked. And in my mind, I'm like, 
really? So people of my race cannot come to this country to school. People of my race cannot come to this country to work. People of my race cannot come to this country to do voluntary service. Just the same way you guys go to our country to also do voluntary service. Honestly, I'm not even joking, you guys. I have seen people from Ghana, people from West Africa that are doing voluntary work in Germany. Yes, I have contact with them. It's not even a joke. That aside, you guys, now let me just talk about the worst question that they ask me that really, like, the worst one is, do you have a resident permit? <laughs> oh, do you have a resident permit? And I know some of you are going to leave some funny comments down there and you're going to be like, yeah, they ask such questions because they don't want to be used to get a resident permit. Come on, listen. We have people in this country that came here to study. We have people in this country that came here to work. We have people in this country that came even to volunteer their services. Like we have people coming all the way from Africa to do voluntary work in this country. So please spare me that. I know people do that. I know people use people just to get resident permit, um, passport or whatnot. But listen, it's not everybody. So I feel offended when people that don't, they've not even seen me, like you've not even gone out on a first date with me and you're asking me already if I have a resident permit. Like, I, like are you working with the immigration service? Are you interrogating me or you want to date me? Like, I don't understand the sense behind such questions. Really, you want to date a person, get to know the person a little bit before asking if they have a resident permit, what they are doing in Germany, why Germany, why not another European country? Hello? Like, seriously? I feel people shouldn't ask such questions on the first date, neither on the second date. Because, come on, you are not, an, you are not the immigration service. The people that are entitled to know if... I have a, re a resident permit or not at the police, the immigration service, and maybe a landlord that I want to rent his apartment. Not like if I'm going on a date with you, at least the first and the second date, you shouldn't ask such question like if I have a resident permit. What I okay, what I'm doing in Germany, I can understand. Okay. You want to know if I'm a student, if I'm a worker, that I can understand. But asking me if I have a resident permit, and many a times you guys, they always ask you this question before they even get to meet you. Nine out of ten, they ask you this question before they get to meet you. It's like, hi, hello, how are you? Where are you from? What are you doing in Germany? Why did you move to Germany? Why not another European country? Do you have a resident permit in Germany? This is just how it goes. It's like they all go to a meeting and they rehearse it and they come out of the meeting and they say, okay, now let's go date. And they ask the same question. So when I posted a video on TikTok, it's not only black people that were saying they were being asked like this. Hispanic people. Asian people, Arabs, they are also being asked such questions. And seriously, it's no longer funny. I just feel you should get to know a person, get to know them at least the first, second or third date before you start asking such questions. That's my opinion, you guys. And that brings me also to online dating. You guys, online dating, seriously. Are you dating online? What is your experience like? Now, in Germany, I don't know where people go to find, to make contact, you know? So many a times, you could go to a bar, you could go to the gym, and you could go to maybe to disco. For people who go to disco, you could go there and you see a man. You could see that he really likes you, but he's not even going to have the, the courage or the boldness to walk up to you and talk to you. But behind their, behind their phone, behind their laptop, you see them writing and talking and talking and talking. So many a times, it's more easier to meet people online than in reality from my own experience. So yeah. And... Online dating right now, you guys, it's really, really, it's a jungle. It is a jungle. I don't know if it's only in Germany. If you're dating, if, you, if you're doing the online dating, maybe in, in Asia, in Australia, in North America, South America, in Africa, just leave your comments down below. How is it like for you guys? Because seriously, for me, it is exhausting. It is funny. It is annoying sometimes and it's irritating sometimes because you meet people and they're like uh what are you looking for and in germany they are like etwas lockeres and etwas lockeres is just from my own understanding it's just like 
it's a it's an indirect way of telling you that oh i'm just looking for a booty call yeah i just want to eat your cookie and when i'm tired of it next they just want to go with the flow yeah that's let me just put it that way they just want to go with the flow and i'm like hmm okay okay next so it's really really it's really funny and i know there is this saying that says that um how how do they even say like we have to kiss the we have to kiss a lot of toad before we find prince charming i don't know if i'm saying it right just correct me down in the comment section if i didn't say it right that you have to kiss a lot of toad before you meet prince charming yeah interesting right okay you guys that's my experience so far dating as a foreigner in germany and um yeah what is your experience like as a foreigner dating in germany i know a lot of uh a lot of people might be like might have a, a whole different experience from what i what i what i have or what i've had or what i'm having just share in the comment section down below we are going to end this video right here remember this make sure you love yourself it's a crime and it's a sin for you not to love yourself and you expect another person to love you love yourself because if you don't love you who will see you guys in my next video bye guys i'll be the zine ciao tschüssi